Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. So I finally went back to the dentist after almost about a year and a half because of the whole COVID thing and I was really nervous about going in. I've never gone that long without a cleaning and thankfully my teeth are in great shape. Gums are in okay shape but I do have a little pocket here that needs a little bit of extra care. So my dentist finally was like, look, just go get yourself a water flosser and take care of that area. And I went on Amazon and I found this guy. And of course, if at the ending of the video you want to take better care for your teeth and not spend a lot of money and you want to purchase the FLV35, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Let's have a closer look. And just a quick word about water flossers or water picks. Now, water pick is a name brand. It's kind of like what Kleenex is. It's the tissue. It doesn't matter. They all do the same thing. Now, this is not meant to replace regular flossing. It's meant to complement it. So you're going to go in with your regular flosser, get what you can out, hit it with this thing, blow out whatever particles in your mouth you have there. But really, the main advantage of having one of these is it gets water below the gum line and the bacteria that's hiding down there that really leads to bone loss, it doesn't like water. So that's the main advantage of having a water flosser. Now, when you get onto Amazon, don't get too caught up on the model number or name brand. I'm pretty sure these all come from the same places. Just make sure you try it out and try not to spend a lot of money because I know a lot of people that spend big money on the countertop versions and they never use them. So I think these are a good place to start. All right, let's get a weight reference here. So a can of soda, 13.1 ounces. The V35 without any water in it, just about 11.2 ounces. So you figure with water, right around the same weight as a can of soda. And also for size reference, here is what it looks like all together. And here is what it would look like next to a can of soda. All right, guys, here's a closer look at the backs. I'm going to pronounce that Eli floss. There's a look at the model number FLV35. This is a portable dental flosser, and it's cordless, so it's rechargeable. It's IPX7 waterproof rating, so that can be submerged underwater one meter for 30 minutes. You have a 360-degree nozzle that turns all the way around, and the water tank is 320 milliliters. I would say, for me, I can get my, my whole mouth done in one tank, uh, but if you really want to take your time, then you might have to fill it twice, but that's not a big deal. And if you're wondering about battery size, it's 2,000 milliamps. They say that it can last about three weeks, but really depends how much you use it. All right, it comes with a lot of different heads in here. There's a toothbrush one. You got your jets. It comes with three jets. This is the main one that you're going to use. So you get three of these guys. You get one with a tiny brush that water kind of spits out right in between the middle. I'm not going to use that. And there's also a tongue scraper as well as a cap to fit on there where it's not in use. And of course, the USB charging cable. All right, so here is the reservoir. Here is the pump, and you're just gonna twist it together and it'll stay together securely. The charging port is here on the back. So it's not USB, USB-C, that's a special one, so you can't lose that cable. That's probably one of the only downsides to that. Uh, here's the reservoir, so you're just gonna open this up fill it up with water and then you're ready to rock all right before getting into the functionality of these buttons just a reminder that you want to make sure that you're either totally out of water in the reservoir before you take this out of your mouth or that it's completely off because if it turns on which is probably going to happen to everybody you're just going to have a massive sprinkler system going off coming out of that tip there so just be aware that you really want to make sure that's completely off or you're completely out of water when that's not inserted into your mouth. All right, so a couple of things to handle the controls. When it's in your mouth, I kind of like to have it gripped on the back side of the water pick because if you're gripping it this way and you're on one and you hit the intensity button and it goes to three, it's really uncomfortable. So just kind of mind where your fingers are. Keep them on this side. Also, uh, I've had it happen where I've hit both buttons the control goes up to three and then it goes on to jet and then it feels like I have a literal fire hose in my mouth. So I tend to grip it on this way. And that's why it's really important that this thing be able to rotate 360 degrees. Oh, by the way, if you want to remove it, you just press down on this button and it comes out. You always want to make sure that that O-ring is in there, that little pink ring. And then to insert it, you just press it in. All right, so here's the strategy you're going to use to avoid having water spray all over your bathroom. This middle button, you're going to hit that first. That's going to tell you what the intensity is. I normally keep it on one. Two is okay, but three absolutely makes it feel like the gums are coming off your face. So I'll change that down to one. You'll stick it in your mouth and you can press power. 
okay? And this bottom button here will change what mode you're in. So this top one here is jet mode, basically it's like a water hose. Second mode here is a massage. It basically goes brrrr consistently all around your mouth. And then that final one down there, which is the point and shoot, goes brrrr. So you can clean, move, clean, move. And then there's a DIY mode where if you're not happy with the intensity, you can kind of gradually step it up. But I'll never use that DIY mode. So again, just real quick, you select your intensity, you select your mode, and then power, and then off. Well, all right, guys, once again, that is the Eli Floss FLV35, four different modes. If you want to take better care of your teeth and not spend a lot of money, Check this guy out. Make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.